Hello, it's Michelle Donahue with Artworks Resin Canada. I'm just going to um, show you today, hopefully, um, an option to make Northern Lights with uh, resin art. And the colors I'm using today are Color Passion products. And I'm going to be using the um, Artworks Resin brand resin. I've already mixed my resin. It's a one-to-one -one ratio. And I've already added the colors. I'll make a, a separate photograph that I add showing the colors used. And the amount is just a little tiny bit uh, on a little on the little sticks uh, on the tips. So I'm going to, because it's already mixed, I'm, I don't have a lot of work time, so I've got to get cracking on getting the resin down. Uh, when you put it in your mix cup, if you leave it a bunch sitting in the big cup, it's going to get really hot really fast. So ideally, you want to get it spread out into all the little cups um, of your colors. Normally, I do not use this many colors on a piece, but I am just trying to showcase these colors and um, what you can achieve with them. And Northern Lights is always kind of fun to do. So I grew up in the Yukon and I love them. They dance around and they're just beautiful at night, but um, it's just kind of something I've always been a fan of is the Northern Lights. So I thought, well, this will be a fun piece to show these colors. I'm just going to put the blue across here. It's Color Passions Navy. And I will spread it out a bit better in a minute. I'm going to put the purple down. I decided ahead I'm going to have uh, some navy blue, some dark purple, and then I'll do black down here. And I'll probably put the black on close to the end. And I'll show you why when we get to that part. I was hoping this was a bit darker. Oh yeah, it's good. Let's see how it is. I need a nice dark sky. I'm going to be using interference colors. And they need um, a dark background, ideally, to show up really well. So when you put your paste on, you want to stir it in. And then you can scrape it off on the edge of the cup, pick it up, push it back in and stir it again. I'm going to put the purple down here. Now you can spread it out many different ways. I'm just going to use my fingers. I kind of uh, <laughs> got used to using my fingers. I have used popsicle sticks to spread it as well. Anything that kind of spreads it works. I'm going to bring it down a little bit because this lower part is going to be covered in the black. But I just kind of want to bring it down this way a bit. And that off. Then I'll spread out the navy at the top. Normally these birch plywood boards I would prime. I didn't have this primed before I started today and if I would have primed it I would have had to put it off for another day and I haven't been able to get to videos much lately so I decided I should just go ahead if it bubbles because it wasn't primed, I can do another layer. I always often do more than one layer anyways. It's just something I do because I like the extra depth. And sometimes I like adding different features on the next layer. So I kind of have the blue uh, spread out. Now I'm just gonna take the blue and the purple and just kind of um, meld it together a little bit just by Taking the purple up a bit and the blue down. And that just kind of gives it a bit different um, colors throughout the sky, which are not uncommon, especially when you have the northern lights. 
So again, a lot of this section down here will be in black, but I'm just going to spread it out a little bit more. Okay, so that is our sky. And that was the navy and the purple passion. So I'm going to go <coughs> into the red interference. <clears throat> I'm going to put that here, and then I'm going to put the violet interference, and then the blue, and then the green. I'm going to kind of go up. Actually, I'll do the green first. Often in the northern lights, you see a lot of green. <coughs> Pardon me. <coughs> and I don't think I mixed enough green. But... Uh, that is the color passion, green interference. And you can see it's basically looks white. Once I put it on the dark color, the green will pull through. I'm going to kind of go up that way, that way. <coughs> and I've mixed way too much, but that's okay. I'm just going to show you this is the blue interference. Trying to work quickly. I have about 40 minutes, roughly 30 to 40 minutes work time. But um, there you can see the blue. Sometimes I cross them in over a little bit. And here is the violet interference. Now there's lots of ways to spread out the light. You can use a palette knife, you can use these silicone uh, brushes, you can use a plastic knife and you can make little um, designs in it. For this particular one, I'm just gonna try to keep it very simple because I just wanna show you um, the colors. And now I've also, mixed up some of the green the sparkles um, in the same colors. Uh, this is the, they make the interference and then they also make the change sparkles. So they kind of change the same as the interference do. Now, normally I wouldn't always put all this on one piece, but I wanna show you what they do. So I'm gonna just go ahead and I'm gonna put the sparkle, because of the way I'm gonna manipulate this, I'm gonna put the sparkle on the left side of the colors I've used. So this is the green change sparkle. I'm going to put that beside the green interference. And you can see it kind of does the same thing. With the color on top of the dark. So I'm going to just put the blue there and the blue here. Think of it as stars in the sky <laughs> with the northern lights. I'm not sure how well this shows on camera, but boy does it look pretty when the light hits it. And this one is, so that was the blue change sparkle beside the blue interference. And now I'm 
using the violet change sparkle beside the violet interference. And now next up is the red change sparkle, which will go near the red interference. And I am very new to video making, so sorry if I'm blocking things or missing things. I'm just um, trying to get the hang of doing these videos so that I can show these different um, beautiful products. Now, just before I do the manipulating, I'm going to give it a bit of a torch uh, because I want to get rid of some of the bubbles before I manipulate that form. So some of this is because I didn't prime the board and some of it is just normal. Resin does this, especially the thicker viscosity. So... <laughs> There are a few ways to manipulate. Uh, I use a, sometimes the tools I showed you, plus sometimes I use a heat gun, sometimes I use a blow dryer. Um, for the purpose of making this quick right now, I'm probably, oh, the other thing is sometimes I'll use a, a scraping tool or a paper to kind of swipe it a bit, which gives it a nice effect as well. But for this particular one, I'm just gonna quickly use the, uh, I'm going to use the heat gun. Sorry about the noise. <laughs> okay, my heat gun is plugged in and ready to go, so I'm just going to use it and I'll show you. Um, I'll try to talk over top of it, but so I'm going to just carefully blow this. You, sometimes the attachment. This attachment can affect how much it moves. Um, sometimes I like the other one that doesn't move as much and I may need to switch over to that, but I'll try just lifting this one up higher so I don't move it as much. I'm going to push it that way and out a bit. And then these ones I wanna go up and then this one I wanna go up that way a bit. And that's cool. It doesn't move quite as much, but as it heats up, it starts to move a bit more. And as you can see, I'm just trying to carefully blend it a little bit. I don't want to make too, too much movement. If I get too close, I'll take it right off the whole board. <laughs> so, this kind of gives you an idea of the beautiful effects you can get with this. I'm just going to push some of that off a bit. So when you under the northern lights and it's so beautiful, they, they actually dance sometimes. Sometimes they're very really slow moving, but sometimes when you're standing it, they actually dance. It's so pretty. It's not often you see this many colors, um, but they do happen. Um, typically they're mostly green, but I do love it when they're all light up. They're just beautiful. So the green stuff is kind of taking over on here. Okay. So I'm going to add a bit more green because... But wow, that's so pretty. Okay, I'm going to add a bit more green because... Wow, that's so pretty. Because it feels like it needs more green. Yeah. I don't want to put too much in it. Uh, a little bit more. A little bit more here because I kind of wanted it to go straight up there. Bit 
more green. I'm just going to add a bit more because the effect I wanted, I just wanted a bit more of that green up there and here. So that should do it. Nope, I need one more here for that look I want. with how the sky looks I'm going to put the black down and I've chosen to use the color passion black as well as the onyx pearl and so it's kind of a two-tone black because the ground is well it's nighttime and the ground is going to be black but uh, with the two-tone it kind of gives it a bit of a ground I guess dirt type of effect I'll show you that here shortly Hopefully you can still see this on the screen. I think you can. And yeah, you can see the fact that I should have uh, done a bit of a prime, but that's okay. Like I say, this isn't the first time I've done this without priming. <laughs> so I'm going to um, just kind of go wavy, like as if there was a bit of a hill or a mountain there. Cover this up. Yeah, I'm just going to use my fingers again to spread this out. And actually, just before I do that, I'm going to put this on too. Oh, they're so pretty. The piece would look pretty without the, the change sparkles but the change sparkles make it look like stars in the sky and I also wanted you to see that they also have that really pretty uh, interference kind of effect so I'm actually just going to pour this in before I manipulate it because I kind of wanted this to blend a bit um, uneven I don't want it to be even so that it gets a bit better of the uh, ground effect. And because I want it to be that, I'm going to use this uh, heat gun again, so it'll be loud again for a minute.
just used my fingers a bit at the end because I was trying to give it a bit of a, uh, a hill like effect, but I do need to just give this one more little softening. leftover uh, leftover um oh dang it's selling yeah i don't really want it to sell but sometimes these pastes do that so Okay, I will have to show you this, I guess. any longer either so but um i hope you can see how beautiful these colors have uh done with the northern lights on the sky they're just gorgeous i will take a picture of the finished product and share it as well and um try to get a picture outside so you can see the the beautiful um so you can see the onyx black and the and the uh, black passion, kind of how they almost look like a ground. And then the sparkles are really lighting up from the change sparkle. And the red and the violet. It's actually, um, it's actually really pretty. So I will uh, get a picture of this when it's dry and share it again. Here is the products. And I'll include a picture of those too. Hey everybody, happy Saturday. Hope you had a wonderful day so far.